the idea is not that it's like a drawing class or a painting class. It's more like we want people to embrace the creative side of themselves by trying out different things and to be able to think of themselves as a whole creative person. Understanding creativity in a different way, hearing about it in in a structural way, so seeing it as part of your personal identity, part of a community, and understanding it in a collaborative political sense never came to mind before. And then the technical stuff, like use Legos as a metaphor, like that kind of um, activity I've never done before, so it was really cool to, to do. Just being in a school focused on expression and creativity. Uh, my background in school has been math and computer programming. So being in an environment where people are actively collaborating creatively is something that some, I've never experienced before. So going to a free school, uh, can't turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of just sort of pushing it, doing the maximum, um, doing surprising, challenging things, doing the thing where it's not just teaching you some kind of crafty techniques, but it's about thinking of the core of your identity and putting creativity at the core of your being and seeing what does that mean, what does it feel like if I think of myself as creative and inviting people to step into that space, that's what makes it exciting. I was very nervous going into my session, to be honest. I. I don't do well presenting, but every the vibe in the room was so amazing. Everyone was so supportive and so encouraging of each other. It was it was like a little community of people that didn't even know each other at all. There have been so many different people from the community, people from Ryerson, students um, coming out, wanting to try out new things, learning about their own creativity. It's, it's been pretty amazing. Teaching embroidery is a really great experience. It's, it's just really interesting, I think, for a lot of people to see this sort of um, age-old craft kind of resurface as a contemporary medium. And uh, yeah, you kind of see that reflected in um, the participants and they're eager to learn, you know, and even if they only accomplish kind of one or two stitches in the workshop, um, it's still a really good start for them blowing my mind to see all the things that you guys have here. It's such an inspiring um, university. Just taking some of the David's talk it was really inspiring. Like after the talks, you just go outside and you really appreciate things differently. So it's it's pretty it's pretty nice. I really feel like I'm I'm a different person <laughs> after this this week. I'm I really I'm really happy. We came up with the free school because we thought it would be a cool thing to do in May when things were otherwise quiet. We wanted to do something that reaches out to all the people in Toronto or anybody that wants to come. We say it's two weeks of creative everything open to everyone. We have 15 workshops, we've got on 30 hours of material in the end, uh, covering everything from comics, drawing, embroidery, thinking about your creative identity and your community and sustaining creativity and a range of uh, workshops around different kinds of techniques and approaches. In terms of what happens next, are we gonna do it again? I like the fact that it kind of sprung up all of a sudden and was surprising 
and this thing that reaches out to everybody for free is available two weeks, all these things happen in two weeks, and then it kind of and it goes away again like it was some kind of magic thing that just happened. And um, so we might not run the same thing again, but uh, I'm always excited about running events and things. There's gonna be many more things coming out of the Creativity Everything Lab in different forms and different places.